Hey guys, it's Amic Zero with another video. Uh, this is kind of more like a speed tutorial, kind of. We're not going to go over much, but I'm going to show you how to make that picture we just had there with the floating islands. Um, I, you're not really going to learn much from this, but it'll be fun to watch, I suppose. Um, I'm going to give you all the tools you need in the uh, description, all the pictures and things. Uh, we're just making floating islands. Um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I never saw the movie Avatar, but the tutorial said it was about Avatar. So, right now I'm doing a little trick technique to uh, cut things out. Um, as you can see, this island is on a mostly bright background, and the island itself is mostly dark. So, all I did was adjust the levels, make dark things dark and bright things bright. And then I go to, um, next to your layers palette, there's something called channels. And you can select just color from the channel. And pretty much all of them will work because the background's mostly white. So, just select any one of them. It'll select the island, mostly. And right now, I'm just going to cut away the extra. Uh, you can see there's little bits of the whatever that is in the background. And uh, right here, the video starts to go a little funny for some reason. I export twice. I don't know why it looks like this. You're not missing anything, though. All we're doing right now is uh, cutting out the island perfectly, and then we're going to remove a lot of that bottom there to make it so that when the islands are floating, it looks like it was kind of ripped up from the ground. We're really just following the grain of the rock. Um, I'm not just randomly cutting. I'm cutting across the lines that are already in the rock. Uh, it just makes it look a little bit more natural. And... Um, that's one thing you're trying to do here, is you're trying to make something look natural that really has no business being natural, so that's one of the tough things to do. And right now, I'm just kind of skewing the bottom, uh, making uh, tapering towards the bottom. For what reason? None, really. Uh, I just kind of wanted it to have like the wider top and the uh, smaller bottom. And we're just going to drag that in. Now we're going to do something called a gradient map, which is going to help color adjust. Right now, it doesn't look like it belongs at all. So we're going to help it fit the mood. Um, you just go to uh, New Adjustment Layer, Gradient Map, and on the gradient I'm going to choose two colors from the picture, which is orange and green. That's kind of the feel that the picture has. And I'm just going to set that to Overlay and bring down the opacity a little bit. Now it kind of looks like it belongs. It has the same color warmth feel to the uh, to the rest of the picture. It's not. It looks more like it was supposed to be there. And the video starts doing this thing again, but again, you're not missing anything. Right now, I'm just darkening the edges with the uh, burn tool because the selection was not perfect. It's a little white around the edges, and the burn tool clears that up right away. Now what we're going to do is I have a uh, brush pack for you guys. Um, it's a whole winter brush pack, but the frost icicles can be uh, used as vines and... Uh, you know, random vegetation growing from the bottom. Uh, and that's really easy to do. You just drop it in there with a the color, make it pretty dark, and then just uh, quickly erase uh, with the soft edge the top of the vine so that it looks like it's kind of going into the rock. And you just do that a few times, and when you stand back, it looks a lot better. It looks like dark vines hanging off, like they were growing off uh, towards the ground. And you're really just going to cover the whole thing in that. Alright, so, once you have one island mostly done, I'm putting it into a folder just for uh, easy moving and it's easy to see. Uh, scale back to wherever you need it to be. I felt like it was too close or a little too large, didn't look like it fit. And then I'm just going to blur it to uh, go with the depth of field. Um, I feel like if it's that far back, it shouldn't be in perfect focus. So we just fix it up with a quick little, little, tiny, tiny blur. And then, really, we're just doing the same thing over again. I'm grabbing the uh, the same island picture. I'm going to cut it a little differently. Um, again, still following the grain of the rock, just a different grain, a different uh, slabs of rock. And this one came out a little sharp, and I didn't like it. So, to help out, I'm really just going to kind of wear away the edges here. I'm just going to cut a few times until it looks like it belongs. Obviously, you don't want super sharp edges. That just doesn't normally happen in nature. Even though this has no business being in nature, it's a floating island. And to make it look different, we're going to make this look totally like a different island, even though it's the exact same thing. We're just using the clone tool. I know you can't see it really well. I don't know why this kept happening. Um, but I'm just using the clone tool, grabbing some parts of the rock, moving it to a different part of the rock, moving, moving. And nothing about it looks weird. Um... It all looks like it's supposed to be there, and I know you really can't see it now. I'm not sure what happened again, but right now I'm just removing the branches that were at the top of the island, because um, even if the rock looks the same, if the branches are in the exact same spot, it looks 
like something's up. So I'm just removing all the branches. Okay, once we have our island, we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to drag it in, scale it, move it around, and put the gradient map back on it. Um, really all I'm doing is going to duplicate the gradient map from the last one and move it up top, put it back on a clipping mask so that it only affects the island right here. There you go. Before you saw it colored the whole image and the clipping mask made it set just to the island. So definitely need to know how to use clipping masks in order to do this. And then we're going back and doing the vines, the exact same thing. Um, just filling them with dark colors, uh, dark browns, dark greens for different types of vegetation. Um, don't do straight up black, even if it might look like straight up black from far away. And then to add a little bit more of effect, I'm going to add some like falling rocks from the island so it looks like maybe um, it's falling apart in the sky or something. I'm really just selecting random little bits from the island before and moving them in. Uh, then you later on you can adjust them however you want. Uh, I'm going really, really fast here. I'm only doing these two islands. Um, you spend a lot more time on it, and you can make this look really, really good. Okay, now the last thing I think we really need is to fix the lighting. Uh, it almost looks perfect, but being that we have the sun there, uh, we really want to get um, the sense that it's brighter up in the top left corner there. Um, let's see, do I do... Yeah, here we go. Add a lens flare. And I'm putting the lens flare kind of where I think the sun is supposed to be and just adjusting the lightness until I think that it looks good. That was obviously too bright, so I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And... There we go. That looks more like it's supposed to belong. And you have that lens flare there like I think you should. Just go in, and the lens flare made those vines look a little too dark, so we just lit, lit them up a little bit, control U. Um, and that's all. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, uh, check out the Facebook, Twitter, and I'll see you guys.